and I know about the new beta because I've been seeing chatter about it online. There's a new beta out that you can get your ads in YouTube Shorts. I need access to that beta. And they said, well, it's not necessarily a beta that is changed inside the interface of Google. It's a beta within Google's placements. So we don't target Shorts. We can't just be like, put this on the Shorts network. It won't work like that. So that's the secret. I got on the phone yesterday with Google for this client. And I said, hey, there's a new beta out. And I know about the new beta because I've been seeing chatter about it online. There's a new beta out that you can get your ads in YouTube Shorts. I need access to that beta. And they said, well, it's not necessarily a beta that is changed inside the interface of Google. It's a beta within Google's placements. What this means is if you're running a video action campaign, so a video campaign that is targeted for either leads or sales as the goal, meaning that's using an automated conversion-based bidding strategy, such as uh, maximize conversions or target ROAS or target CPA, maximize conversion value. Once you're using an automated bidding uh, strategy, that's for action. So it's not target CPM. It's not maximum CPV. It has to be a automated video. Uh, sorry, an automated bidding strategy for conversions. And you upload a shorts video to YouTube. Then the beta on, on Google side is it will allow that video to then qualify to be shown in shorts. So we don't target shorts. We can't just be like, put this on the shorts network. It won't work like that we still are going to have to set it up as an in-stream skippable. It has to be a vertical video. It has to be a shorts uh, link like this here. Uh, no. Sorry, I don't have the, the URL, but if I, if I upload this video here, I'll say the URL will be like youtube.com forward slash shorts forward slash blah, blah, blah. It'll have the, the word shorts in the URL. As long as you upload the vertical video as a short, it'll be called a shorts. It's going to look like it makes it makes it wide like this in an in-stream skip pool. But because it is a vertical video um, that would show up in the YouTube shorts naturally, like if you upload it as a shorts video, that combined with a video action campaign will allow that video to be shown in shorts. So that's the secret. I misinterpreted the original message because it didn't have that qualifier as uh, uh, that it had to be a video action. I thought this was gonna show up in shorts. So that's why I wanted to hit. This is not a glitch. I'm interrupting the video you're watching because I need to remind you that I'm always looking for people to join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you wanna work with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. Speaking of working with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, if you're having trouble with Google Ads and you want professional help, that's what we do. You can go to solate.com, that's sol 8com to apply for your free, no obligation action plan. And if I've given you any level of value at all, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. That's how we juice the YouTube algorithm so they actually know that I know what I'm talking about. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or confessions, hit me below in the comments. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Frequency. So this campaign is actually not qualified to be in the shorts. I have to redo this campaign because what I found out yesterday. But the other part of this too that you have to, not have to, but that you should do is target the devices to mobile. So to qualify it for in shorts, it's one, a video action campaign, two, a shorts URL video uploaded vertically, and three, only targeting mobile users. If you're targeting TV screens, tablets, and computers, you're gonna overshow in these channels here because now three out of the four placements are non-shorts, uh, essentially because they're in stream skip pools, but the mobile phones qualify for shorts on their phones. So that's how this has to be done. I know I'm not showing up in the shorts, but it's acting like I'm showing up in the shorts from the cost per view. The, the people that were saying, hey, it's on shorts, and it's getting me a really good cost per uh, cost per view. The average CPV is very, very, very low. I'm like, yeah, mine's low too. Awesome. And I talked to Google, they're like, yeah, but it's actually not in shorts. So when I change this into shorts, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but I'm going to basically do the same model just in an action campaign, and then we'll we'll see what happens after that. But right now, I want to test target frequency anyway, and it's kind of cool to see that it actually will show twice as often to a user each week than the other campaign type.
The future is here. Email from Google. Improving how your assets are optimized in Performance Max. Irrelevant garble. Starting on October 1st, 2022, we will also begin customizing descriptions and other assets within your ad 